Hey family, this is your cousin Marquita back. I'm here to show you how I do my sunset cut crease look. I already went ahead and did my eyebrow and put my Tarte concealer on. And I'm going to list everything in the description as to what products that I use. But first, I'm going to go ahead and start with under. These are the four colors I use in my Juvia's palette. And first, we are going to go ahead and use, it's like a turquoise glittery cutter color from the Juvia's palette. And we're just going to rub that right there under the brow bone. Depending on how your eyes are shaped, this may be different for you as far as the positioning. Then I grab some of the yellow to focus in on the inner part of my lid and just pat it in. Constantly patting it in. Try not to rub it in because it won't show too well. But if you pat it in, then the colors will show more brightly that way. Then I use the pigmented purple. And just, in. and just take it out to the edge of your eyebrow. You can always clean it out with concealer later. And I'm just going back with that turquoise color. It's like a glitter turquoise color in the middle because I could tell my creases were starting to show. But now, here is the concealer. And just take your time with this part. It's not a race. When you're doing a cut crease, you want to go a little bit above your natural crease that way the cut crease will actually show and just take your time with it add it in you may have to go over it a couple of times but you really want to take your time out when you're doing a cut crease actually take your time when you're doing a cut crease but I'm still new at this and I'm just showing you because I told you once I learn something new, I'm going to share it and I'm going to let you know. I'm like a new, new beginner. I'm being honest. I used to do makeup back in the day when I first got my cosmetology license. But now I'm learning and I'm here to share what I've learned. And I believe that by God's grace, I will only get better. Next, we're going to take that pigmented orange and just go right up the middle. Just patting it right up the middle. And get more product if you need it. You see that it's starting to fade, like how mine is at the top. Just grab some more. Constantly patting up to the top of that line. And try not to go over the line because then it's like, what's the point of having a cut crease if you want to go over it? Just kind of like stay within that crease, that line of demarcation that you made with the concealer. Next, I'm going to go ahead with that yellow on the inner crease of my eyelid. Constantly patting that in. And this yellow, I did not get from the Juvia's palette. I got from the Box of Crayons palette, eyeshadow palette. And I just feel like that is just so bright. And I love how bright it is. But this is the yellow. I'm just pat it in. Lastly, we're going to go with that deep purple from the Juvia's palette. And I'm just patting that in at the end with a blending brush. And it's best to use a blending brush because you can blend the color so well. And they can kind of just like mesh with each other. I love these colors. I think I'm going to stick with Juvia's um, pretty often when I do my makeup videos. I'm going to have to collect all the palettes because I love, love, love these colors. They show so well. And once I find other palettes that I feel have great pigmented colors, I'll share those with you all as well. Of course, I'll just leave it in the description box below. But just carry it out. I'm just trying to blend it in with the purple that I already used when I first started my eyeshadow. 
And I'm going to go ahead with that orange again because some of the orange was coming off. Well, actually, some of the purple was overpowering the orange. So I'm just going to go ahead and pat, pat that in. And these brushes with the crystal handles, I actually got those from Five and Below. My other brushes I ordered online from AliExpress. I can't remember the name of the vendor, but um, yeah. Next, I want to go ahead with my Revlon Colorstay Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner because the tip is just so precise. It helps you to get that precise line, which I love. And this is another thing, you take your time, definitely take your time when you're doing your eyeliner. I'm going to just go ahead and do like a mini wing. I'm not going to make it really thick and really dramatic. I just wanted to do it just enough to line it. And I think just the purpose of the liner itself anyways, just to tie everything together and make it meet with like a clean line at the end. So it's not so messy looking at the tip of your eyebrows. I mean tip it out of your eyelid. So once you get your liner on, you can go ahead and move to your lashes. These are my She Ready lashes. From my website shop at those.com which will be in the description below and once you apply those she ready <laughs> next is my juvia's foundation and i'm gonna go ahead and apply this i heard that juvia's foundation had excellent coverage and I am truly a believer when it comes to this foundation. Like I said, I'm just trying it out, but I love it. This is my first time using it, and I love how it covers all the imperfections on my face. I almost forgot. Make sure you put your three colors under your lid. I start off with the yellow, then I'll go in with the orange. Lastly, I use the purple. Next, I'm gonna take my Tarte Concealer under my eyelid, under my eyes, and just dot it on. And then take your brush, your blending brush and just blend everything in using a tapping motion. And these blending brushes are found at Target. You just put it on your finger and blend it in. I think this is the best kind of brush. I mean, sponge for under your eyes. And it has like a precise point on it, which is really lovely. You don't have to struggle as much like it's a bigger sponge. Next, I want to contour my nose. And I'm just using a darker foundation. I'm going to go ahead and place this foundation in all the areas I want to contour before I blend it. So here, I'm just placing it on my nose, the outer parts of my nose, my cheeks. jawline 
like I said, I'm a new, new beginner. <laughs> a new beginner because I have not been doing makeup for a while and I really want to get back into it. But after you go ahead and blend everything, just take your powder foundation and just pat everything on. And there you have it. The final look.